YouTube, it's Weird Pa. It's time once again for my monthly thrift store score video. And today, we'll take a look at my thrift store haul from December of 2018. Let's start off with books and magazines. I got a book called Mondo Canic, a pop culture odyssey. Any book with David Cronenberg, Rush, and the McKenzie brothers is a must have. Got the Fathom Swimsuit Special comic from December of 2000. Oh yeah. A June 31st, 1978 issue of The Star. Angie Dickinson threatens to quit TV over sexy scenes. And Barbara Cartland says social kissing has gone too far. <laughs> and two 2013 issues of Hobby Japan Magazine. Almost 400 pages of mechs, Star Wars, Godzilla, and more. But I can't read a word of it. And I found a December 1986 issue of TV Guide with Heather Locklear on the cover. No doubt I was watching Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve. This would have been right when my Friday nights were filled with night tracks, night flight, and Friday night videos. Okay, let's move on now to the category of miscellaneous. I got a shaped cow eraser, some Guitar Hero stickers, and these strange graduation puffy stickers, and a Pillsbury Doughboy magnet. <laughs> wow, a Woolworths bag. The last time I was in a Woolworths was probably 1993. I also picked up a 2004 theater ticket for Kill Bill and a Chuck E. Cheese token from the same year, and this hard to find vintage Chuck E. Cheese bowl. That's rare. And I found a 1980 Kenner World of Strawberry Shortcake catalog. Looking through this brings back the memories. There I am back in 1986 with my sister's dolls. I was super excited to find this 1976 San Jose Mercury newspaper. If you open it to the middle, it's full of amazing movie theater ads. This was back when the Wilderness Family and Pippi Longstocking could share a page with Andy Warhol's Frankenstein and Dracula. Jaws was still playing six months after its release, and so was The Three Days of the Condor. You could see double features like Last Days of Man on Earth and Death Race 2000, and Russ Meyer's Super Vixens and The Exorcist ripoff Abbey were your two choices at the Tropic Hair. Or you could go to the other side of town to check out The Milk Lady. Ooh, how kinky. That's actually all I had this month, so let's move on to my audio scores. Found two cassettes, The Knacks Get the Knack, and The Singles by The Pretenders. I got CDs by The Doors, Foghat, John Coltrane, Eurythmics, Weezer, Mudhoney, and Nirvana. I got one Picture Sleeve 45, and it's pretty fantastic, One Nation Under a Groove by Funkadelic. And I got vinyl LPs by Johnny Cash, Quarter Flash, Cliff Richard, Jay Giles Band, a solo album by Frida of the band ABBA, Billy Idol, and Panty Raid by Doug Clark and the Hot Nuts. Ooh, how kinky. Fellow members of the Hot Nuts Club, we will open our meeting tonight with the singing of our fight song. What is it? Panty Raid! My best vinyl score this month was this 1990 Devo EP, Post Postmodern Man, one of the few Devo vinyl releases that I still needed. And I found this Steve Martin poster that came inside of his 1979 album Comedy Is Not Pretty. I bought mine used and it didn't have it inside. Now we'll move on from audio to video. I got four more Blu-rays this month, Seventh Son, America's Most Haunted, Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, and Total Recall. I'm a cop, you idiot! I'm Detective John Kimball. On DVD, I got comedies. The Waterboy, Broken Flowers, Swingers, Semi-Pro, Blades of Glory, and this Honeymoon in Vegas disc came from Pizza Hut. I got some classics. Twelve Angry Men, Gone with the Wind, Fiddler on the Roof, The Original Walking Tall, The Con Artists, and Roman Holiday. Action movies, Ballistic X vs. Sever, Lethal Weapon, Edge of Darkness, JCVD, Tomorrow Never Dies, Die Hard 2, and The Boondog Saints 2, plus Black Snake Moan, The Rat Pack, and Goodfellas. TV stuff, 
How I Met Your Mother, Season 3 and Season 4, and Super Mario Brothers, Mario's Movie Madness. It's me, Mario. Sci-fi movies. I got Stargate, Alien Arrival, and Independence Day. And horror movies. Godsend, Exorcist the Beginning, The Exorcism of Emily Rose. And I filled in a lot of gaps in my Halloween collection. I got Halloween 2, Halloween 3, Halloween 4, and Halloween H2O. And I found 14 Video 8 cassettes. Most of the time these have people's home movies on them, and these ones are someone's around the world travels from 1990 to 1994. There's Japan, China, England, Germany, Tahiti, Las Vegas, and lots more. And lots of detailed footage of bathrooms, if you're into that sort of thing. All right, now it's time for our last category, toys and games. I got some more video games. For PS2, I got The Hobbit. And for PS3, I got Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. For Xbox 360, I got Gears of War. For the Wii, I got Angry Birds Star Wars, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, Heat Seeker, Cars Raceorama, Hot Wheels Track Attack, Pokemon Battle Revolution, and The Price is Right. <laughs> For Nintendo GameCube, I picked up Beautiful Joe and 007 Nightfire. And I was really surprised to find Myst for the Sega Saturn. Damn! I found one 70s Viewmaster reel of Mount Rushmore and a pack of Marilyn Monroe playing cards featuring some of her most memorable pinup images. As usual, I got a bunch of toys and figures. Four aliens, 13 crazy bones, Three Mighty Beans, a little robot, a 1990 Yogi Bear figurine from Applause, and a 1993 Z-Bot from Galoob. This one's name is Turbine. That is wild. I got a Donald Duck that I didn't already have, and two mid-80s Chuck E. Cheese figures. Here, he's getting ready for a little b-ball. And my friend Jack Stauber was at the thrift store, and he handed this one to me. And you should check out Jack Stauber's YouTube channel, because it's pretty freaking cool. Also got a couple of wind-ups. This Gargamel was made in 1982 by Galoob, and this kid on a tricycle was manufactured by Tomy. I also scored this 1991 Terminator figure from Kenner. I'm a cop, you idiot! I'm Detective John Kimball. And a 1988 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder figure. Plus, I got a couple 1984 Mattel Masters of the Universe figures. Too bad, I mean, his name is too bad, and Trapjaw. I didn't get his accessories. Oh well, give him a lightsaber. Speaking of lightsabers, I got some Star Wars toys. This Chewbacca is from 2007, and these Jawas and this Greedo are from the 1997 Kenner Power of the Force series. I also found three backing cards from that line, Dengar, 2-1-B, and the Rancor Keeper. And I got some trading cards. 23 Pokemon cards and three Dinosaur King gaming cards. I got a 1982 Milwaukee Brewers card from Post Serial and a 1991 Lenticular Baseball Greats card from Kellogg's Corn Flakes. You're out! A 1989 Fleer baseball sticker, this shiny 2017 Panini Walt Frazier card, and a couple of racing cards. This Terminator 3 card rules. I'm a cop, you idiot! I'm Detective John Kimball. Five Monster High cards, eight Elvis cards, and ten various Star Wars cards. These are all recent, but some look like the ones that I collected in the 70s. I also got eight Dallas cards. I never had any of these before. Of course, a couple of them featured J.R. being shot. I was beyond thrilled to find 19, 1982 E.T. trading cards that I didn't have. I filled in a lot of holes in my collection. I got a sticker, too. And I got 26, 1982 Smurf Super Cards from Topps. Smurfy AF. And now it's time for the find of the month. A collection of 36 Smurfs from the late 70s and early 80s. 
I got Smurfs that play sports, Smurfs that love you, Smurfs that make music, Smurfs that cook, write, paint, and build, Smurfs that protect and serve, Smurfs that look after you, Smurfs that know magic, and Smurfs that can fly, even cowboy and Indian Smurfs. This Smurf that loves to brush his teeth is one that I remember seeing in a bin at the drugstore back when I was just a kid. I got everything that you saw in this video for about $21. I hope that you enjoyed seeing my thrift store haul from December of 2018. And if you did, don't forget to click on that like button down below. I'll see you soon with more memories. Thanks, YouTube.